just let's go to 3A. What's cracking like in 3A? There's a lot of stuff that I'm talking about 3A right now. Um, first of all, the 2000 AD um, Tharg prototype picture. It's up right now. You can see it. Very nice. And uh, this was shown a while back. I just totally forgot to talk about it. Um, so awesomeness. Ashley has... Um, as, I love, he's pumped with this line and he's gonna make some awesome figures out of this line that's all I got to say 2000 AD and, and 3A just kicking ass kicking ass um, you got Jung the Plume Jung the Plume which I showed you a little picture you got a full picture here and he's the last the plume okay the last the plume figure that's gonna be made the other figures that are gonna be made which is another thing I'm talking about are the numb um, Numb people, numb that numb the group, because the plume is part of that numb. Um, I, can't, I can't even say. I don't know what to say. That the, the, the numb group. Yeah, whatever. A group. I, I'm trying to come up with a military word for it. I can't right now. But uh, anyways, so from that faction of numbs, it's gonna be like the numb commanders are from that same place. They're gonna make more numbs. No, not the plumes. The plume is done. Okay, no more the plume. So I'm cool. I'm I'm pumped to see what he's gonna do with the uh, with the numbs and see what he brings to the table. I'm sure it's gonna be awesome. I mean, when has three disappointed? Never. Um. Anyways, um. Another cool thing. Tank girl in three A. You don't know Tank girl, Papo? Google it up. Tank girl is a shit. Um. Jamie Hewlett has worked on there. You don't know Jamie Hewlett? Shake it up. He uh he's the one who draws for the gorillas. I love his art. Anyways, they're making more than toys. So, t-shirts, furniture, we don't know <laughs> what it is. But uh, 3A is definitely at, uh, hooking it up with, uh, with Tank Girl. So, uh, let's see what they pump out. Awesome to see. Hopefully, we'll see something in Beijing. Um, Birdie. You remember the Birdie? The first Birdie uh, ever made, which was by 3C Real Big Toy Works or whatever. Remember that stuff? Yeah, well, the... 3A is actually going to make a birdie now, a full-size 1.6 scale birdie, and uh, MK3. It's in production right now. We haven't seen pics yet, but this just pumps people up. There's one that's going to have a single arm and a uh, auto cannon. Da -da 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 -da. So, so I'm guessing it's one hand with the gun and the other one with the... Something like that. So uh, <laughs> that was a great interpretation, right? Awesome. Um, a new heavy TK. The heavy TK that I remember, I reviewed it. Pure awesomeness. Freaking long sleeve shirt awesome backpack freaking bazooka the hair and everything looked awesome he's making a new one um what else oh apart from more numb figures there's another faction in the uh, world war robot universe they're called the mods mod like in modding a uh, xbox controller modding stuff like that and what they do in in world war robot is mod uh, existing Robots, so they don't make robots. They just grab some robots, mud them up, and use them for what they want to do. They don't belong to any faction in Earth or Martians. They're <laughs> everybody wants to kill them. They don't give a crap. They're kicking ass. So uh, the first one's gonna be the mod captain. So I can't wait to see. I, I don't. I haven't seen any designs on the mods. I don't think anybody has. So I can't wait to see what they look like and uh, see them kicking ass. I ma. They probably were in World War Robot um, Two, um, the book. I haven't read that book yet because I'm a douche, but uh, if they were there, then I guess I'll check out some pictures there. Anyways, um, we're getting a non-commander um, desert set. So people wanted the desert theme, everybody likes the desert theme, bam, I just like, fuck it, let's do a non-commander desert set, bring it bitches. Um, what else? What else? Oh, and the big news, which I already revealed a while ago, but just in case you haven't seen it, Pitu is going to the Beijing Gathering Show by 3A. It's an art toy show by 3A, like I said. And um, freaking Ashley Wood, the awesomeness that is Ashley Wood and Kim, of course. But um, Ashley was the one who said that he was going to fly me over there. It's flying me over there to cover the events. It's just pure awesomeness. Super happy. I already said how happy I am. Super pumped on the video. But on the other video, but you know, it's, I'm super grateful, super pumped. I st I'm still in shock, and um, I'll bring you the most awesomeness footage from Hong Kong or from Beijing, sorry, ever. So I'm pumped to go to Beijing and cover this stuff. Hopefully, I'll see Metal Gear Rex live. I'll probably have a heart attack, die in Beijing next to that Metal Gear Rex. But you know what? It don't matter. I'm pumped. Um, anyways. 
that's enough of 3A. Let's go to Kotobuki real quick. Um, Kotobuki showed us their Iron Man Mark VI. I have to say, you know, I love Kotobuki, but this Iron Man Mark VI, I don't know what happened. I mean, if you look at the picture, it might be the picture. I'm not sure because I, I haven't seen it in person yet. Hopefully, I'll see it in San Diego. But it looks, it looks like it looks like me, you know, skinny me wearing a a what do you call it? A, a football football freaking straps and stuff. You know, you know how football player, American football players wear all that crap on. That's basically what it looks. It's so skinny, and then you got those shoulder pads. There you go, shoulder pads that are humongous. And he, it just looks very fragile, and like you can break it apart or something. It's it's very it's, it's, it's that picture is very disappointing. The picture I'm not sure if the piece is gonna look like that in person. It might be the picture stretched out or something. I don't know, but it's definitely not looking cool compared to the Mark IV we've already seen from Godouki. I wish I posted a picture right there so you can see it. The Mark IV looks sick. So I'm not sure what happened to the Mark VI. I don't know. I don't know if that's the actual design that's going to be in the movie too because if it's, if it's the design, it's not Kotobuki sculpting it. It's because that, that's how it's designed. I don't know what the hell they were thinking when they were designing that stuff. So I guess my conclusions on that piece will come when I see it in person. But right now it's not looking cool. It's not looking... It, it's... Meh. Meh. So I'm uh, definitely not sure what's going on there. But anyways, uh, the Hulk. Let's go to the Hulk. The Green Hulk. Remember, Eddie Sosa sculpted the uh, Red Hulk, Rock. And he said he's gonna sculpt a Green Hulk so he can fight the Red Hulk. Bam! In your face, bitches. That's the second one you're looking at right there. And um, that Red Hulk's looking awesome, humongous, McGinnis style again. And uh, just pure awesomeness, badassness. I'm pumped. Can't wait to see this thing in person next to the Rock, and then cry like a little bitch because they're so awesome. Look at that! Oh my God! So uh, Eric Sosa kicking some major ass there. Woo! Awesome. Anyways, let's go to Robotux Vinyl Roto Box. See, I said Robo. Rotobox Vinyl Anatomica has a new custom out called Panda Z and this thing is awesome, just pure awesome. This was made from a resin figure which kind of looked like what you see there but the legs were different and uh, anyways these guys you know with their awesomeness, awesomeness, awesomeness made it into this Panda Z robot. Has like a, uh, I, I'm guessing the Z is because of Messenger Z, Messenger Z because it has that feeling you know with the wings in the back or whatever. But um, it looks awesome. Looks funny. It looks badass. So uh, it's a one. It's a one. Uh, one edition size. I'm guessing they'll sell it. I think it's for a custom show as well. But uh, looking awesome. Looking awesome. So uh, there you go. Um, now to Triforce bitches. I haven't talked to Triforce about. I haven't talked about Triforce in a while. But they finally showed their uh, Marcus Phoenix. Marcus Phoenix. Epic scale bus, which is a half scale bus, which was sculpted by Eric Sosa. And there you go, there's a picture there, and um, it's looking sick. It's looking sick. I can't wait to think this thing to get released. And uh, pure awesomeness, just pure awesomeness. It was at figures.com. The link is, will be down there on my post. Don't worry about it, bitches. And then you got McFarlane making a Warhawk, which I cannot find the damn picture, but they're making a Warhawk. Pure awesomeness. I am pumped. Anyways, bitches, that's enough. Hopefully you enjoy the episode. <laughs> that was all I got to talk about. Love y'all. You continue to rock. Thank you so much again for everything. Because you guys rock. And um, hopefully I can load this episode with no problems. Yeah. Peace.